All right, what's going on, everybody? It's user three here, back with a brand new video. It's been about two years since I made a video. Last time was a gaming video when we beat South Park: Secret Truth, but I am here to kind of overcap uh, the first day of NCAA tournament March Madness. Every day I'm going to upload a video after every uh, round, and uh, we're gonna showcase games, kind of overcap it for you guys uh, on my Twitter. I've changed my Twitter to uh, March Madness update thing. First off, we got our four playing games, Texas Southern, Mount St. Mary's. Uh, Texas Southern wins, 60-52. I know a guy who played at Texas Southern many, many years ago. Great three-point shooter. Um, went on to play professionally in Canada. Uh, Drake upsets Wichita State. Wichita State, for many, many years, has been a great, great team. Um, they used to be pretty high seeds. Uh, Ron Baker played in the NBA, he's an alumni, and Fred Van Fleet, who won the NBA championship with the Toronto Raptors, had a big deal, and is now scoring at will. Uh, but they lose to Drake. Drake was a team who started out the season 19-16-0, uh, the last unbeatens, and then lost four games late in the, late in the, uh, in the season, but they uh, upset Michelle State, beaten by one. Appalachian State, if you guys know this team, they were a big football program, they beat Michigan in the big house, one of the greatest upsets of all time. They lose, however, Norfolk State, 54-53. UCLA upsets, in my opinion, Michigan State. Michigan State, coached by Tom Enzo, was always a great tournament team. Especially when they were lower seed, they always upset and always have a deep run, except for that one time when they lost to Middle Tennessee as a two seed. But they lose to the UCLA in overtime. Uh, Florida, a seven seed. Defeat to Virginia Tech, a ten seed. Uh, good good win by Florida in overtime. Number three seed, Arkansas, who uh, has had a great turnaround. They used to be a bottom feeder in the SEC, and now um, a big, big team, promising team. Can do some do some damage tournament. They beat Colgate 85-68. Uh, number one seed, Illinois, third best odds to win the tournament. Defeat Drexel, 16 seed, 78, 46, 49, excuse me. Uh, have a um, lottery pick as well. Texas Tech beats Utah State 65-53. Texas Tech has Mac McGlong. He uh, is a high flyer. If you guys don't know, it was all over uh, all those YouTube channels. Uh, let's look at Utah State why they lost 21 out of four out of 19, 21 percent from uh, three point range. The big thing though is right here: 22 turnovers, seven turnovers. Utah State played a horrible game, and they lost the game on the road. I'll tell you what. Oral Roberts versus Ohio State in the overtime, guys. Oral Roberts, huge upset. The last time we saw a two-seed, as I had mentioned before, was when two-seed Michigan State lost to Milton C in, I think, 2016. Let's look at the recap, look at the recap here of the game, why Ohio State lost. Uh, didn't shoot very well from three, 11 35. It's okay. Sorry, excuse me, that's the wrong team. They shot 5 of 23, 21%. Not very good. 9 of 18, 50%. Free throw, horrible. So free throws and turnovers was big. 16 to 6. Washington, their best player, did not have a very, very good game. He lost, He missed a wide open 3 at the end. Wide open! Sent to second overtime. Missed it. Very, very sad. But let's look at uh, Oral Roberts. The number one, not number one player, but the... Number one score per game in the entire NCA. M. Abras, Abrams, Abras, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I apologize. 29 points, 5 out of 10 from 3. Great game from him. But an even better game from Kevin, I think it's Kevin, O'Banner, the forward, 30 points. 5 out of 12 for 3 point range. Very, very. He can shoot, guys, he can shoot. 7 of 7 free throw range and 11 rebounds. Huge game for him. And these two guys were the, by far and away the best two players on the on the floor tonight. That night, if these two guys continue to ball out, Will Roberts could be a Cinderella team. Never know. I would like I would like to see it. Baylor, number one seed, uh, second best team in the tournament, defeat Hartford seventy nine fifty five. Loyola Chicago defeats Georgia Tech seventy one sixty sixty. If you guys remember Loyola Chicago two years ago, they were the Cinderella team. Made to the Final Four and lost to Michigan, sadly. Loyola Chicago also has a very famous fan favorite uh, fan, Sister June. She's a 102 nun, 102 years old nun, really sweet lady. 
she's just hoping that Loyola Chicago make another run this year. Georgia Tech, though, great season for them, even though they lost. They uh, won the ACC in Shocker, beat Florida State to get into the tournament, but uh, could not hold it out against Loyola Chicago. But great season for them. Hats off to them, and uh, better look next year. This was a great game right here. Fire, number five, Tennessee versus Oregon State, number 12. Oregon State, guys, was picked dead last in the Pac-12. In their last four games, they were at 25% or lower chance to win, and they won the Pac-12. And one of the greatest Samuel stories of all time, guys, they were lightening up from three in midway. 47%. That's great. Great, great, great. They were just... Pounding Tennessee. Pounding him. Pounding him, guys. And uh, they win. And uh, let's go back up. Let's see what they can do. A lot of promise here for Oregon State. They are on absolute fire. This will be one of the greatest center tours of all time if they can make a deep run. And I'm all for it, you guys. Number four, Oklahoma State behind Kate Cunningham, who's about to be the number one pick in the NBA draft. Close game. They won 69-60. Um, in the first half, he did not score a single point. Was 0-5 from the field. Had three turnovers and two fouls. In the second half, he kicks, he kicks it into high gear. Ends up with 15 points. He's going to have to play better. If Oklahoma State is going to make a run. Wisconsin for North Carolina. North Carolina is a team I do not really think should have made the tournament. Very, very young and experienced. Wisconsin, always, always a great team. Uh, a couple years ago, they were an they were 8 or 9 seed. I think they were the 9 seed. And they went on and beat number one seed, one seed Villanova, I think. Yeah, they upset number one seed. They this game they beat the tar out of the Carolina. The Carolina had no shot. They won 85-62. Two seed Houston beats Cleveland State, 87-56. Not much to say there. Another another um, upset here for Purdue versus North Texas. Texas in overtime. North Texas just pummels them in overtime. Purdue just lost it in overtime. Yes. Yeah, North Texas wins 78-69. Purdue was a very, very overrated four seed. Um, this is one that I picked. Uh, almost went to North Texas, actually. And, uh, huge win for them in overtime. Another upset. Number 10, Rutgers versus number 7, Clemson. They win 60-59. 56, excuse me. Uh, Rutgers used to be a bottom feeder. Never really been a very, very good um, basketball program for a very long time, but their head coach has got them in the right direction. And... Uh, Bright future for them. So, great job to those guys. And here we go. San Diego State, uh, last year before COVID, was was a very, very uh, old team, very experienced. Expected to go far, uh, but they're facing Syracuse. Syracuse is the dark horse of every tournament. If they get in, they are guaranteed to win some games. And they do it again, folks. 78-62. Pummeling San Diego State, they were on fire from three. Look at this, guys. 15 out of 27. That's 55%, you folk, guys. Almost 60% from three. Almost 60%. They could not miss. Let's go to a player we want to highlight. Buddy Boheim, the son of Jim Boheim, legendary coach. 30 points. 7 out of 10 for three-point range. 11 out of 15 field goal range. At one point, he scored 16 points in a row for Syracuse. Huge game for him. That is his second game in a row for 30 points. If he can continue to light it up, Syracuse will make another deep run. And honestly, guys, I picked them to make a deep run. So fingers crossed they continue and make my racket look really, really good. It's going good so far. Uh, let's see. Where, where are we? We already did all these, right? Yeah. Where are we at? Here we go. All right. The last two games of the first day are Villanova and Winthrop. Villanova has their best player and is not playing. He's injured. I don't, I don't think he'll play for the rest of the tournament. So, um, however, they do beat Winthrop 363. We'll see how far they can go without their best player. West Virginia, 3C, beats Moorhead State 84 67. Let's go ahead and now look at the official bracket. Um, Right here at the play-in, right here, UCLA, BYU. Um, pretty pretty close game here. Um, Syracuse is right here. I think they can beat West Virginia. 
They can beat West Grove Houston. Could they beat these teams? Maybe. This is a game I really want to see. Oklahoma State and Illinois. However, Oregon State is going to give Oklahoma a run for their money. Let's go back up here. Florida and Orville Roberts. Florida, Florida State. Not Florida. Uh, Florida. Might have a tough game here. Might, might, might. Texas Tech and Arkansas is going to be an awesome game, I think. Really, really awesome game. I think whoever wins this game right here will, to the, will go to the Elite Eight to play Baylor. Baylor, however, though, got to get past Wisconsin. I tell you folks, Wisconsin has done this before. They beat a one seed. They beat, uh, as I said before, they beat the one seed Villanova. They could do it again, folks. They really could. Let's go over here. Creighton in Ohio. Again, both these two, two teams, UC, UCSB and Ohio, Ohio State won earlier today. I'll, re I'll recap that game uh, in our next video. And uh, I'll just go ahead and use that for next video. Um... Michigan, tough game right here. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the first day. Uh, I'm going to upload this video and probably later I'm going to recap the second day. Right here, these games right here. I'm going to recap these games. So that's going to be coming very, very soon. I'm going to upload this video and later tonight I will go over the first day and maybe upload that video tomorrow. See you guys later. If you guys are watching, I hope you guys are having fun as much having fun as I am. If you're not, what's wrong with you? You need to tune in. Anyways, guys, it's me signing off. See you next time.